and, and this is for people who maybe they have never bought or purchased and they want to have a better understanding about tax implications. So it depends on the type of property. So if, if the property is going to be a primary residence, then the mortgage, in, the mortgage interest is tax deductible. Depending on your taxable income level, so if you have mortgage insurance, some of that can be, you know, in the past has been tax deductible. Up until a certain amount, the property taxes are tax deductible. Whereas if it's an investment property, mortgage interest, property taxes, homeowners insurance, maintenance, repairs, depreciation. This is why real estate has been such a valuable investment vehicle over the years, because you're talking about an asset that one, you can leverage with long-term fixed debt. And when rates go down and you have a low rate, you're locking yeah. in a debt at a very low rate that ultimately is going to beat inflation if you refinance at the right rate, right? Mm -hmm. You're able to leverage that, you're able to liquidate it, you can borrow against it, there's tax deductions, it's appreciating in value in the long run. You're gonna have a tenant that's paying the debt down for you. I mean, it's just a win-win all the way around. It's, it's why, you know, there's a large portion of, like on a Forbes list, you see that a lot of those people on that list made their money through real estate yeah. because of the power of the tax deductions. Now, obviously most of those individuals, it's it's probably more commercial real estate because there's such heavy depreciation mm -hmm. that literally there's so much depreciation they're able to write off. It's literally offsetting all of the income they're receiving.